Hello, my name is Hannah and today I'm going to be teaching you a very helpful songwriting technique to use if you're feeling stuck when it comes to your songwriting. Now this is a technique you can use if maybe you're looking for inspiration, you're having a bit of a writer's block or if you're new to songwriting and you're wanting some beginner techniques to start you off. So in this lesson, we're going to cover a three step process that's going to help you identify a subject matter and show you how to write a song surrounding that. So for step one, we're going to look at finding inspiration and identifying a subject matter. Then step two, we're going to be looking at lyrics and rhyming couplets. And then finally, moving on to step three, we're going to look at the four chord song and beginner's chord progressions for you to use in your songwriting. So for this, we're going to follow a character building style workshop. So what we're going to do is I want you to pick your favourite character. It could be from a TV show, it could be from a movie, it could be your favourite pop star, your favourite character in a book. Any character that you really resonate and make sure it's a character that you know very well and you'll find out why just in a minute. So there's two options for this. One, you can either decide to create a sort of mood board, either on your computer or even just doing a mind map um, on a spare piece of paper. And the other option is for those of you who are more artistic and are into drawing, you can draw a visual outline of your character, colour it in, design their costume or their clothes um, and then go from there. Now, I'm not very good at arts and crafts. I'm not the best drawer in the world. So I'm going to opt for the mind map option. Okay, so this is my mind map and the character that I've chosen is Harry Potter um, just because I love the Harry Potter series and I grew up reading the books. Um, I also wanted to do a character that most people watching this would either know roughly enough about the character or have read or seen the movies themselves. Um, so that is a character that I've chosen. The next thing you want to do is add in things about that character that you feel make up that character's story and that are important to the character themselves. So I've just inserted some pictures here. Now that I've got all these kind of related images um, or parts of the character's um, own story relating to them, their personality, um, what happens to them in their book, movie, whatever, um, I'm going to go through and just put in a few words, just outline why it relates to the character themselves. So under the picture of him, Ron and Hermione, I've put that this shows that he holds priority over friendships um, and the whole idea of love overcoming evil. So that is the mind map. That's kind of what we're looking for. Again, you can be as creative with this as you want or as direct as you want, um, just as long as you're pulling certain elements about either the character's personality, their character traits, or even just pulling things that tell a story. Okay, so now it's time to move on to step two. So step two is where we take all the work that we did from step one and try and turn it into lyrical context to use for our songs. Now, again, there's no rules in how you want to do this. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with or whatever you have access to. So you can either do this on a piece of paper um, via a mind map. You can do it like I'm going to do on the computer and sort it into a table or you can literally just write it down on a piece of paper and sort it into three main sections. Looking at the table that I've come up with here, I've separated it into three separate parts. So the main part you're going to want to write down is, first of all, the traits, your themes, and then your rhyming words. So looking at the first um, column, I've just copied and pasted everything that I did in the mind map um, into these five boxes here. Um, so that I can build inspiration from them. So the middle part, you want to identify the main theme of the words or the sentences that you've used to describe your character. So for the first one, um, where I talked about how Harry holds the priority over his friendship um, and obviously love overcoming evil, I put the main theme as friendship um, because that is a main part, main theme of his story. As long as he's got his friends and he's got friendship on his side, he can overcome anything. Then what you're going to want to do is to go into the last column and come up with rhyming words. Now you're going to want two rhyming words um, from the the themes and you're going to want to find a word that rhymes with each of them. So as you can see here, for friendship, I use the word friend just because I felt like the word friend would be easier to rhyme than friendship. So for friend, I put end because they rhyme. Um, and I also put true, as in like true friendship and true love. 
um, and for that I just put you because it's a short word it's a well used word and it's going to be easy to incorporate into lyrics as we come along for this one I just went for um, the end of the first line and the well the middle of the first line and the end of the first line to rhyme um, just because it's probably the easiest just as you're starting off um, but as you go on you can mix around um, and see what works well with your song depending on things like tempo and mood and genre um, but I've just used the first example here using the word friend to rhyme with end and the word true to rhyme with you so I've got as long as I have my friend I can make it till the end them to rhyme and then I've got I know that this is this friendship is true I can count on you so that would be an example of how you can turn your rhyming words into a couplet. So once you've got the kind of basis around, you can swap and change the words and see what works. But it's really just about getting some lyrics down on paper and making sure that you're rhyming them with words that make sense um, in terms of the narrative. Hopefully, once you've got an idea of what sort of lyrics you want to use, we can then move on to the final step, which is putting it all together with the four chord song and the beginner's chord progressions. Okay so the four chord song is a chord progression that can be found in a lot of pop songs. In fact any genre of music really you'll find at least one song or two that use this standard progression um, for the makeup of their songs. So the chords are C major, G major, E minor and F major. Now these four chords can be used in any order so if you want to start with G major then to E minor down to C major and then up to F. So by mixing these chords around you can get some really cool chord progressions and it's a really good way if you're a beginner or starting off um, with chords and songwriting. For those of you who don't have access to a keyboard or a guitar, I will provide a link down below with a basic C major four chord backing track that you can practice your lyrics over. So for the verse, I'm just gonna go with the standard C, E, E, F, and repeat that for the continuation of my verse. As long as I have my friend, I know this friendship is true. I can make it to the end. I can count on you. And then using a separate set of chords for the chorus, which I identified as C, G, and F, and back to C. I've written some lyrics from the table just quickly just to give you an idea so we have we can have hope we can have friends we will fight until the end we have the boy he hoped to destroy the boy the boy who lived so very rough very mix matched but you kind of get the idea and as long as you're using your rhyming table and mess about with these chords you should hopefully be able to come up with some separate chords and lyrics for the verse and separate chords and lyrics for the chorus so that is the end of the songwriting workshop hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you learned something new um i really want to emphasize the fact that this three-step workshop is a very basic beginner's level of songwriting um, so even if you want to come back once you became more familiarised with the steps and getting your idea um, across with the rhyming couplets and the chord progressions, you can always come back to this at a later stage and um, build on what you've worked on. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this workshop and I hope you learned something from it and that you found at least one thing useful um, that you can use either now or later on down the line.